Welcome to the Sports Wrap. I'm Nathan Epstein. Training camp this season for the Redskins has been anything but ordinary. A new coach, a new quarterback, and a $100 million employee standing on the sidelines. A betting man would probably wager that the Redskins might need some time before looking good, and that man would be wrong. The very first preseason game for the new and improved Redskins could not have gone better. Head coach Mike Shanahan looking stoic as ever, and quarterback Donovan McNabb looking as effective as ever. The former Philadelphia Eagle might already have a favorite receiver. Chris Cooley caught three of McNabb's five completions for 33 yards. Donovan recorded his first Redskins touchdown on his second series. A four-yard strike to Anthony Armstrong, a free agent pickup out of West Texas A&M. And all McNabb was five for eight throwing for 58 yards. And that score can't ask for much more. Obviously, you know, this is a new city, new, new, new challenge, new chapter. Uh, those are things that are different. I think as far as football-wise, you know, things are still the same. You know, you got to get out there, buck your chin strap, and, and get ready to make plays. I started to get a little bit more comfortable, and that's obviously that second series when we went out. Um, we got a good drive going that first series, and uh, we didn't finish the way we wanted it to. Um, in the second series, I think everybody pretty much buckled in and uh, realized, obviously, this is, this is where we need to be, and let's go ahead and finish this thing off. Donovan's backup, Rex Grossman, didn't look too bad as well. The former Chicago Bear completed 11 of his 18 passes for a total of 140 yards. Two of those completions resulted in touchdowns. One to Fred Davis. He'll work with Cooley on giving the Skins a two tight end set this year. Rex's other TD was a bomb to Devin Thomas. The former Michigan State receiver really needs a breakout year. He caught three passes for a team high 64 yards last night. 44 on the touchdown, and the defense wasn't too shabby either. Albert Hainsworth played second string and actually said after the game he likes the new defense. Chesapeake's D'Angelo Hall picked up an interception. Nothing new there for the former Deep Creek Hornet. The Redskins run it up on the Bills in the preseason, 42-17. Hampton Roads' other favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, are on the field tonight, but we still don't know if Ben Roethlisberger will join them. Head coach Mike Tomlin, who's from Newport News, has refused to confirm whether or not Big Ben will see the field tonight. Roethlisberger is suspended for at least the four games of the regular season, but is allowed to play in the preseason. Whether or not he will is still unknown. We'll find out soon. The Steelers face the Lions tonight at 7.30. Well, it may not be the Yankees and the Red Sox, but and it may not mean much considering the Cubs are miles back in the division standings, but don't tell that to the fans of this rivalry. The Cubs and the Cardinals squaring off in St. Louis today, and look who it is in the owner's box. Tony La Russa serving his second in a two-game suspension from last week's brawl. Top second, Chris Carpenter facing Iris Ramirez, and Ramirez says you're going to have to change the scoreboard because that one is gone. His solo shot ties the game at one. Top third, Derek Lee, where have you been, big fella? He sends a shot out of the park, and the Cubs lead three to one. Bottom fifth, Carlos Zambrano on the mound. With the cards threatening, he gets the grounder from Met Holiday to end that. Cubs win three to nothing. Three to two, excuse me. Down south we go, where the Red Hot Orioles took on the Rays. Top third, no score. That is until Adam Dunn shows up. A three-run homer to left, that puts up the O's three to nothing. But the big play in this one came in the bottom of the fourth. Rays down three to one. Kelly Shopik up to bat with the bases loaded, and he takes care of that. A grand slam for Shopik, only the second of his career. Rays win seven to three. There has been a hot rivalry this year in NASCAR. It's been Carl Edwards and Brad Kozlowski. Each driver has been wrecked by the other one during the final lap of racing. Both have been penalized and put on probation by NASCAR. Both drivers strongly dislike each other, and both were again near the front during today's nationwide race. To Michigan we go. Danica Patrick making another appearance on the circuit. No top 10, though. She finished 27th. But the story was really about rivals Carl Edwards and Brad Keselowski. 41 laps to go. It's Brad Keselowski passing Edwards, and he takes the lead. Only 40, or only 14 laps to go, and the caution flag comes out for the second time today. It was Stephen Wallace giving Robert Richardson a little love tap there. Kevin Harvick also got a little piece of the action, literally, running over the side window of Richardson's car. Nine laps to the checkered flag, and Edwards takes the lead once again. 
but down the home stretch, and it's Keslowski who has the final say in this one. Keslowski gets the win. It's his second win in a row and his fourth nationwide win of the season. He maintains complete control in the series point standings. Poll for tomorrow's cup race from Michigan is Casey Kane. It's Kane's second poll of the season and 18th of his career. Kane needs a good finish tomorrow. He's currently in the 17th place in the cup standings. 133 points behind Mark Martin, who's in 12th place. There are four more races until the chase begins. I'm Nathan Epstein, and that's the Sports Wrap. Thank you for watching.